Hello everyone and welcome to another Armour 3 Eden Editor tutorial. This one's in response to a question from Long Rifle M14 about having a chopper ready to go, uh, spooled up for when your troops leave a briefing. So, first thing I've done is gone to the editor to Blue 4, down to NATO, Men, and then I've just selected some men to place down onto the map. Whiteboard to signify that it's a briefing and that's really all you need to do here. I've also placed a helicopter out here. You can use whichever helicopter you like and you can find those in a similar place. We get a blue four down to helicopters and there's your selection of helicopters there. You can do the same for Op 4 or Independent it really depends on what you want to do with the mission and what troops you're using. First thing I'd like to do is give the squad leader, this guy, a variable name. Double left click and in the variable name section you can give him a name that the editor or the mission will reference for triggers. So he's the first squad leader so I'm just going to call him SL1 and click OK. Next we're going to give the chopper a variable name. So left click or we'll double left click and I've given it a variable name of H1. In the initialization field I've put H1 disable AI move which is in inverted commas with a semicolon at the end. So this chopper won't move on any waypoints that I give it until a uh, certain thing is done. So what I'll do is I'll give this chopper a movement or a few movement waypoints and the easiest way to do that is to hold down left shift and right click and there we've got a move waypoint and I'll set another move waypoint for here You can move them up a little if it makes you feel happier about a chopper flying. Holding left alt, left click and moving the chopper up, or the waypoint up, sorry. And another one, move it up and I'm going to get it to land in this field here. And to do that I'm just going to open it again and in your waypoint select transport unload. I'm then going to give it another waypoint where it's going to fly away to. So there's a few waypoints for the chopper. Okay, next thing is a trigger. So I go to F3 or the flag icon. The first trigger I'm going to select is 10 by 10 by 10. And I'm just going to place that down. Press M, go to the map view. And on the trigger I'm going to press the space bar four times. I can now move the trigger around. I can drag it and resize it. So I'm just going to place that behind where the troops are. And back to the 3D view. In this trigger, the first thing I'm going to do is ensure that the helicopter engine comes on. So in the activation section, I'm going to type H1 engine on true and set the activation type as any player present okay so that's what we the first thing we want to do is have the engine on we also want to ensure that that chopper doesn't go anywhere uh, until we want the chopper to go somewhere 
So that's why, if you remember, I put in the initialization field for this chopper with a variable name of h1, h1 disable AI move. Okay, so that chopper won't go anywhere. The next thing I want to do is place down a trigger that enables the movement of the chopper. So I'll place that just before where the chopper is. Double left click on the trigger. In the activation section, H1, enable AI move, semicolon, with activation any player present. Now if you only want this trigger activated by a particular person, so for example the squad leader, and remember the squad leader's variable name is SL1, over here in this trigger if you only want SL1 to activate this trigger, double left click to open it, and in the condition field type SL1 in area this trigger semicolon so this trigger will only activate when SL1 your squad leader is in this trigger now also we don't want the chopper to fly off the instant this trigger is, is activated so Again, double left click, and in the trigger we have timer values. I'm going to set that for 10 seconds, which is minimum, mid, and maximum. So around 10 seconds, um, once entered, this trigger will activate. Okay. So now we need to use this trigger to activate the movement of the helicopter. So right click on the trigger connect and go to set waypoint activation and just left click on the first move waypoint so just to recap we've got squad leader one we've got h1 variable names we've got a trigger that activates the chopper's engine with any player present and we've got a trigger that activates the movement of the chopper and it will only do so when our squad leader is present. So let us see how that works. Okay so we're in the mission remember we've got our trigger just here somewhere to put the engine on for the chopper. You'll notice at the moment the helicopter's engine is off. As I enter this trigger, the helicopter now starts. Now even though the helicopter has waypoints, it will not fly those waypoints until I enter the trigger that's just in front of the helicopter. So wait for it to fully spool up so it's now ready to fly but it's not going anywhere because I haven't activated its move waypoint yet so now I'm in its move waypoint but it has a delay of 10 seconds so it won't go anywhere for 10 seconds but you notice that very shortly this chopper will now take off and fly onto its waypoints. And I'll just skip past it actually flying because the AI piloting in ARM3 is terrible and very slow. Okay, after a few minutes of flying a very short distance, you'll notice the unload transport will automatically kick us out of the chopper. No need for us to jump out or eject. And the chopper is now flying off to its next waypoint. 
Another thing you can do to stop any of your other players from activating triggers that you don't want activated until you are ready. So I'm just going to move that engine on trigger a little bit away from the group because if your members of your community are anything like mine these guys will mill around in here and then go and use the ammo boxes and mill around wear silly hats etc so I'm going to stop anyone from activating this waypoint as well as the other waypoint by just opening that and changing the condition of this again as we did with the helicopter waypoint SL1 in area this trigger semicolon so this will not activate until um, the variable name of SL1 which is what I recommend the mission commander use um, is in the trigger what I'll do here, and just to show you that this does work, is I'll change the activation type to blue for present. So, in theory, this trigger should activate when any blue for troop, AI or otherwise, is present in the trigger. Um, but just to show you that that won't happen because I've placed the requirement for the squad leader to be in the trigger, I'm just going to group these two guys by selecting them with left click and drag right click connect and group to me so now I have two AI players in my group and I'll show you that even though I send these guys through that trigger it won't activate because I'm not present in that trigger okay so now we're in the mission we've got our two squaddies there and I'll get them to move outside the hangar move right on the way. Now they have already walked through that trigger which you see has not activated because Waiting. the squad leader is not present. Now we'll move forward and activate the trigger. Now for some reason even though I've set the condition for the squad leader to be present before the helicopter moves and it won't, if I order these guys to get into that chopper it will immediately take off. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, if anyone's got a fix for that, I'd love to hear it. So what I'll do is I'll regroup these two Fall guys back. to me. Solid copy. I'll activate the trigger by running through it. I'll get in. And I'll tell these two guys to get, get in, in as vehicle. well. Solid it probably won't make it in time, yeah, because the trigger is so short, it's only a 10 second trigger. So I hope that answers your question, uh, Long Rifle M14. If you have any other questions or are unsure about something, just let me know uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you again next time. Oh, what it's doing at the moment, the look of it. It's now landing and waiting for the other guys to get in, which is interesting. Standing by. Standing by. Oh, now it's going to fly its track. Hmm. Good old armor. See you next time, guys.